Next, we introduce the long distance learning for the prediction model based on the decision tree. So the outline of this PPT include the decision tree introduction and we also introduce about the evaluation method and give an example and conclusions. So the decision tree. The decision tree, in fact, is not so hard to understand, but in fact, it's also completely. For example, here, we have a tree at left side, and this tree, in fact, we can use the plan to draw different area not to recognize the tree. For example, this tree has the S1 value and S2 value. So he has two variables. If S1 greater than 0.5, then he may be the the red color. So on the right side, we just only check S1 value. Uh, this value greater than 0.5, then this, he is red color. So right side is yes, and the left side is no. Oh, uh, is no. So when the value less than 0.5, we need to check the value of S2. If his S2 value is greater than 0.5, greater than 0.5 is this area, uh, this area. Then he will be, he will be checked again. Huh? Uh, will be checked again this area because this area also can contain the gray dot and the blue dot so we also compare s1 again and s1 less than 0.1 then he is blue s1 greater than 0.1 then he is red and if s2 is less than 0.5 then in this area oh, that is the blue so this tree can map into the SY plan also on different tree oh, you can draw oh, you can draw different mapping feature but sometimes we are hard to separate in the space for example this kind of the duct, you, you want to separate. Oh, some node is below, some node is up. It's very hard to finish. So the classification tree need to understand how to spread and the order of the spread. For example, oh, we spread S1 and S2 first. Oh, for the second example, oh, we spray oh, after spray S1, S2, oh, and then in this area, S1, we also separate S3 and S4. And in this area, S2, we also separate S5 and S6. But S5 and S6, we also can recursive to separate. Uh, so this is a step by step to finish this tree. So the classification tree for this example, you can map in the space, the node in the space, you can map in a tree or uh, map in a tree. But this tree still cannot fully separate all the node because we find this area has a, a duct 
or that may be the, in this area he is noise or and other like this this also the noise or this also the noise or because this no we are bother the result of the class classification our final result is try to find all the terminal that only one color or only one color but sometimes it is very hard or because here if if you want to separate how you separate you may be need to separate many cut or many cut So we need to choose in the best attribute to separate. For example, A1, he can separate the attribute or oh, is as left side and A2 is right side. So what we select is A1 is better or A2 is better. Oh, so Many different framework for choosing the best have been proposed. Likely, or uh, like attribute, or uh, attribute, attribute can look the distribution of the data. Entropy, entropy is the propagation of the post example. For we give the p plus. P minus is the propagation of negative example in S. So the entropy value is entropy S minus P dog two base multiply P and minus P minus dog two P minus. This is the formula of the entropy. Entropy, we also have a homework. Oh, you need to understand how to calculate the entropy value. Entropy is an expected number of bit need to encode class or not to encode class that randomly join the number of S under the optima shortest code. Why? The information slowly, the optima length call assignment, the minus log two p bit to message have probability p. So p is probability. So expect the number of bit to encode is plus or minus randomly. Uh, is a number. Uh. So entropy or uh, this formula or uh, this formula, and then we can find a real example. For example, a coin is fair, then throw the positive and negative chains. In fact, that is the same. If the coin is unfair, then throw out the positive and negative probability will not be the same. So give a set S, the set S distribution for entropy we can write, write down like this. We give an example, or we give an example. Now throw the coin 40 times, and nine times is positive, five times is negative. We record as or nine plus and five minus. The entropy can be five, entropy of the nine and five. Now we can formula the Entropy, entropy, because this is a probability, 49, uh, four, 9 divided by 14, uh, 9 divided by 14, and 5 divided by 14, then we get the value of the entropy. If we throw a coin, not many times, not the number of positive and negative change is the same, then the value of entropy will be equal. It's the same means here is the the seven huh, is the same value huh, that we can find after calculation 
for examples here here is seven oh. now we can find that minus 0 0.5 Now plus dog two. Dog two because he is the same value. The same value. The same value that the oh, that is this. Now this minus one can move here oh, and become So that became 0 0.5 at the 0 0.5. That became 1. So means the 1 is the distribution, is the miss, oh, is more, more fair, oh, more fair, or oh, you slow, or oh, that is. It entropy value is the biggest. If coin is unfair, then how we throw the coin always is negative or positive. The entropy value will be became to zero. Or will be became to zero. You also can apply this to this formula. Or because one is zero and one is one. But log two, or log log two one is also the zero. So the result is zero. So for the entropy, we can draw a graph. This graph is the value of the entropy. Uh, entropy when it is fair probability. Uh, now we can get the biggest always is positive and negative that is zero oh, as is a sample of the training pattern or oh, training pattern oh. a decision tree work by a recursive partition of the training set every node t of a decision tree is associated with a set of the NT data. NT is data point from the train set. You might find that the parameter node size in some random first package like R that they define the minimal node size. Minimal node size means that the, the node size the node size minima is which one and then he have a terminal oh, so in an example above minima size is 10 this parameter implies that the set of div of your tree that no size from r random for is the package minima size is a terminal node setting the number large cause the small tree to be grossing so a decision tree is a tree structure in which each internal node represents a race of attribute. Each brand represents a test output. Each dev node represents a category. Commonly, common decision tree like C, point, C 4.5 and ID3 and CAD, this is famous decision tree and have a package. We give an uh, example, uh, more example about the calculation of the decision tree. In this figure, decision tree learning is one of most widely used technology for classification. Its classification accuracy is competed with other methods and it is very effective and simple because construct decision tree is very easy. The classification model is a tree called decision tree. That C4.5 is by rows, is prepared the best known system. 
it can be downloaded from the web decision tree and deep no class. For example, this figure have a uh, attribute is age, and age has three branch. The branch is young, middle, or old. Uh, the young will be to a node his job, he will ask him the second question. And if the middle, he will ask the second question on house. If old, he will ask question credit, credit rating. And then from this to extension. Okay, in this slice, if we already construct a decision tree, then we have a pattern. For example, his age is young, his job is first, own house is first, and credit rating is good. Then we hope to predict the class belong to yes or no. That may be you to borrow money from the bank. The bank evaluate your credit and all information to make decision if wrong to you or not. So based on this, the age is young. They will go the left, left side. And then the next item, this node, he check his job. But you have no job. So the solution is no. So the bank will not loan money to you. This is the decision tree. So we need to train a model to become a decision tree model. So is the decision tree unique? The answer is not. Uh, here is a simple decision tree. We want to smaller tree or an accurate tree. Uh, this is the we hope to get easy to understand and perform better. So find the best tree is an MP hard problem in fact. All current tree building algorithms are heuristic algorithms based on some heuristic to guide. So there are no policy which one is the best one. But you have uh, many guide methods to make it. So from a decision tree to a set of rules, a decision tree can invert convert to a dual system. So as far as the right side, that the decision tree has convert to dual. Each path for the dual is from root to a div is a dual. For example, if only the house, that's true. The conclusion is yes. If only, only the house is first, then we check the second and his job. Then is true. Then we apply class is yes. This is a do. So from the do no to deep no, the path is a do. Is a do. So here we can convert to three do three do because have three paths we can achieve. So arguing for decision tree learning, the best learning, we can use the agree method, divide and counter arguing, assume attribute are category. Now, continuous attribute can handle two. Also, we can the, the value on each node, or maybe the class or mnemonic, tree is constructed in a top-down recursive manner. 
as star, all training examples are at the root. Examples are partition, recursive, based on the selected attribute. Attributes are selected on the base of impurity function. Sometimes we, for example, we can use the information when to get the attribute. So condition for stopping the partition. All example for giving no belong to the same class that can be terminated. And there are no remaining attributes for further partition. Majority class is the div. No example left. That is the condition of the stop partition. Here is a decision tree learning algorithm. The algorithm input a decision tree and try to learn try to run and construct a decision tree. This for you to reference. We not detail to, to describe the operation. Choose an attribute of partition data. The key to build a decision tree, which attribute to choose in order to branch. The object is to reduce impurity and uncertainty data in as much as possible. A subset of data is pure if all instances belong to the same class. So the heuristic in C4.5 is to choose the attribute with the maximum information grain or game ratio based on the information theory. So that means we need to have a policy to select which feature will be, will be partitioned first. For example, we have a data set. The data set include for five fear, but the fear is age has job, owning house, creating, rating, and class. And class is our goal. This part is we set the goal. When we do the the data precision, oh, this is our goal. And then we have uh, four attribute to input, and then we have a uh, hope to predict the class. But we construct the decision tree. We need have uh, some data to do training. For example, maybe we have a uh, we have a uh, eight percent eight percent data. A percent data is 12 because 15 multiplies 8 is 12. So above data, this data is for training to construct the decision tree. And then we did three data for the testing. But sometimes the selection of the data, which one is for testing, which one is for learning, maybe randomly, or randomly selection, or maybe not from top to down to select. We can randomly select which one is training, which one is for testing. Information theory provides a mathematic base for measure the information content. To understand the notion notion of information, think about it as providing the answer to a question. For example, whether a coin will come up head. If one already has a good guess about the answer, 
then the actual answer is that information. If one already know that the coin is ruined, so that it will come with a head with high probability of 99%, then a message about the actual outcome of flip is worse less than it will be for a honest coin. So for a fair coin, you have no information and you are willing to pay more money for advanced information. So this you know that the more value the information. Information theory use this the same institution but instead of measure the value for information in dollars, it measure information content in bits. One bit of information is encouraged to answer yes or no question about which one has no idea, such as a flip of a fair coin. The formula of the information gain we can get first from the entropy, given a set of examples, D, we first compute his entropy. So the C is the class, how many class it will be have. So we can calculate the entropy of the example. So, so, so we can find the entropy value first. If, if we make attribute AI with value, with V value, the root of the current tree, this will partition D into V subset. So the totally have a number of V different subset. The expected entropy of the AI is used as the correct root. So we find the entropy value and for the element J, so entropy J that we can find the ratio, the ratio value uh, for the all class of this class and find the entropy of the AID. Information gain is uh, get from the entropy D minus the entropy AID. We choose the attribute with the highest gain to branch and spread the current tree. That is why we to construct the construct the decision tree. Okay, we find a real example to find how to how to construct the decision tree. And then we can first find the entropy of the total D. The entropy D means that D is our goal to prediction. That D is here in this field. So in this field, the D, so we count the number of the no. The number of no here is uh, six. And we also count the number of yes. Number of yes is nine. So his entropy value, we can find 0 0.971. And another attribute we also count respectively for their, their entropy. For example, for the entropy on house, on house is this air, this field. The on house totally, the number of tools is six. You can count one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So totally is fifteen. So fifteen six divide fifteen and multiply entropy D one. D one is the for the tools for the tools. The tools mapping to the D D is here. The class is yes, and other mapping to the class, all of the yes, all of it is yes. So we can find the D one value. That the totally is is have a six, have a six, and for the D one, for the D one. So his value we can find here, and the other, the other part, is for the first, first also. Also mapping to the and the remainder or the remainder part for the D one we can find this, or this. So the entropy of the D one. Oh, D one is zero, but entropy of the D two. D two is for first. Oh, for first, first is the number of nine, but for the first sum is yes. Oh, here is yes, here is yes. Sum is no, so his entropy value also similar. You apply this form, or oh, this form to calculate. To calculate it. So finally, we find the entropy of the own house is all point five five one, and we also can count the entropy entropy of the edge. Edge is this figure. Edge has three different item or different content. So we have three different turn oh, here, and each turn, for example, the young also mapping to the class. We can find the D one, D two, and D D three respectively. So we can find the value is this, and from the formula, our information grain. Is the entropy D minus the entropy H, or entropy D minus entropy own house, entropy D minus the credit rating, and uh, has job. So the same measure we can find here. So from here we can find that the The own house, own house is the big one. So own house is the best choice for the root to construct the decision tree. Decision tree. So we build the final decision tree and recursive, ah,、uh, recursive, and then from remainder we can find which one, ah,、uh, which one is each attribute. So we can use information grain ratio to evaluate the impurity as well. So handing continuous attribute, handing continuous attribute by split into two intervals can be more at each node. How to build the best threshold to divide? We use information grain or information ratio grain, sorting all the value of continuous attribute in Christian order. That one possible ratio hold between this adjust value, v i and v i plus one, try all possible ratio hold, find one that maximize the gain or the gain ratio. So from the here, we can find that we try and partition the data 
became to the decision tree. But this tree here, because here only have uh, one node is here, so sometimes the training may be over. If the training over, that we say that is overfitting. So that is overfit. That is overfit here. Uh, here. This mass shift here. So this is the decision tree when training. Uh, we don't need to so detail. But this one is better or that one is better. I think this one is uh, more better because sometimes have a node here. Sometimes have a node here. Based on this, will be error. But based on this, will be correct. So other issue in decision tree learning, we from the tree to rule, rule permit, handing the missing value, handing school distribution, handing attribute and class with different costs, and attribute construction. Also the other issue of the, sometimes we making the decision tree journey. When we evaluating classification method, we need to predict is the result correct or not. So we usually use the predict accuracy. Accuracy means the number of correct classification divide total number of test case. That is more efficient time to construct model, time to use model. So we hope handling noise and to processing the missing value that the system more robust is. And efficient in risk resident data set and sometimes we interpret above and understand and insight provided by the model. Then compare the model size of tree or the number of the rule. So we hope the tree can be easy to learn. So sometimes we need to cut some tree. The cutting of tree can be have two type. Uh, one is uh, before construct the tree. One is after the tree already constructed. About the evaluating classification method, that the handout set, the available data D is divided to the junction subset. One subset for training, we set the learning model for training. And another subset is for the testing. We set the testing model, testing set. Training set should be not be used in testing, and the test set should not be used in running. So unscreened test set provide unbiased estimate of the accuracy. So the test set is also called the handout set. The example in original data set D are all labeled with class. This method mainly used when the data set is large. Also have uh, other evaluation classification method that is N4 cross valuation. The available data is partitioned to an equal size of disjoint subset. Use each subset as the test set and combine the rest of the N minus one subset as the training set to learn a classify. The procedure is run n time, which n give the n accuracy. The final estimation accuracy of the learning is the average of the unaccuracies. Now sometimes we have a 10 floor, 
profile flow cross variation are commonly used. This method is used when available data is not large, so we can use the N4 cross variation to evaluate the classification accuracy. Also have uh, one measure is deep one hour cross variation. This measure used when the data set is very small. It uh, is a special case of the cross variation. Each four of the cross variation has only a single test example and all of the rest of data is used in training. If the original data has M example, then M flow cross variation. Variation set. The variation data is divided into three subsets sometimes. That is the training set, that is the variation test, and the real test set. Variation set is used frequently for estimating the parameter in learning algorithm. So in such case, the value that gives the best accuracy on the variation set are used as the final parameter values. Cross variation can be used for parameter estimating as well. So the variation Previous, we said that we separate the data into training set and test set. That sometimes the user to do the experiments also have a variation set because this part is for to to tuning the parameter in the algorithm. So accuracy is only one measure. That error is one minus accuracy. Accuracy is not suitable in some application. For example, in test mining, we may not only interested in the document or particular topic, which are only a small portion of big document collection. In classification, need to sometimes environment, school, and high imbalance data, network instruction, or financial full detection. We are interested only in the military data. So, high accuracy does not mean any intrusion is detection because maybe only 1% is intrusion, but 99% is normal. But your system have a 99% accuracy. That means you also have a error for the intrusion, real intrusion input. The class of the interest is commonly called post-class and the rest is the native classes. So we use two other other evaluation methods like precision and recall. So use in information retrieval and test classification. We use a confusing metric that to introduce them. Now for example that classify is positive, classify is negative, that actual is positive, that we say that is TP, that actual is first, that we say F is positive, but classify is negative, we say FN. So we also have a FP and TN. TN. So from here we can find TP is the number of class for correct 
classification of the positive example, we also name two positive. And Fn, Fn is here. That the number of incorrect classification for positive example, we said the first negative. And Fp, we said the number of incorrect classification of negative example, that is first positive, first positive. And Tn is the number of correct classification of negative example. We also need two negative, two negative. So from this parameter, we define a precision P as Tp divide Tp at Fp. This is position. This is position. Our position is from here. So from here we can find that choose positive divide by choose positive and first positive. That means on the on your class is positive, but really is a post number of the post actual positive. That another is uh, we said is popular use. We said the uh, recall. Recall is the TP divided by TP FN. So is this area. So recall means that because the HO total HO positive, that number is TP at FN. But you only retrieve TP is classified positive, classified positive. But some need to classify positive, you will not retrieve. That is the number of the first negative. So this value we name recall. For example, we give an example. Now the confused metric, now the position here, position here is 100%. But we call here is only 1%. That means this is a good system or not? The answer is not. Because we only classify one positive example and create to positive to classify. But no negative example only. So precision and recall not only means your classification on positive class class. So when we do the research, we use accuracy. We also use for precision and recall together not only look the precision. Sometimes precision may be, for example, here is 100%. But in fact, many class he did not retrieve, did not retrieve. So in order to combine both precision and recall, have a function we name F1 value. It is hard to compare two class use two measures. So F1 score combine position and recall into one measure. So F1 is the value is come from this item. Now we in this item and finally two multiply P and multiply R divide P at R. Uh, that is come from here. So the harmonic means of the two number trend to be closer to the small of the two. For F1 value to the to be large, both P and R must be large. So F1 value large is better. We give an example for you. 
For example, we have a real event, and this event, real event, and predict event. And then we also can find the true negative, full negative, and actual positive, actual negative, and predict the positive, predict the negative. Then we can find the accuracy. Oh, this example is for you to reference. Please find it and try to find have any error for this both of these two examples. The position and recall used on document retriever. Now we became the retriever document. Retriever document and retriever Retrieval document is relevant, and this recall to answer the question. <clears throat> now the first one of the question is to build a classification model of a decision tree. It is necessary to measure choice. Which of the following measure of the choice? This is a selection, not easy. You just only answer A, B, C, D, select which one. The second question, throw the coin 16 times, then 10 times positive, 6 times negative. Then the entropy value is which, is how, is what. So please answer. And the third question, if there is a total of 50,000 maintained data in database, there are 5,000 articles related to the electronic drill. After user enter the key or electronic drill, a total of the 8,000 results are returned, of which only 4,000 are related to the electronic drill. Please find the accuracy, precision, recall, and their F1 value. This is also a practice. Please answer above the question and mark, mark with the the second part of the question together. Uh, we have two videos. Each video has uh, three questions. You answer both of the three questions and upload all of them together into the trunk class. Now uh, we are on trunk class. We are set up for long distance learning homework and please upload and we can we can find it here. Okay, and we stop the class here.